So this guy comes up to me and he says, are you Rico Toro? And I'm thinking, uh, yeah. You know, do I owe this dude money? And, and he says, he says, I used to, I used to like your videos. I used to watch a lot of your videos. Uh, but you know, sometimes I think you're too drunk on camera and take too long to get to the point. And then he says, but I gotta admit, sometimes you crack me up. And I said, you know what? I appreciate that. He had me rolling because I said, I appreciate that. That's the kind of honesty I like, you know? You know, we hear a lot of good feedback, but sometimes if somebody will keep the negative feedback, you know, I mean, I'm not talking about troll feedback. I'm talking about on the ground. You know, they'll keep, they'll like sort of mumble or keep their feedback quietly to themselves rather than coming to us directly. So I appreciate anybody can come up and tell me what they don't like, what they like. You know, when it comes to what I do, because it's how we grow. So, that's it. Free society. I'm lost. Tell the people where I'm at. Tell them where you're at. Sewer feet, 39. All right, all right. What time is it? You make me fucking think it's 320. 320. Sewer Bowl Saturday. Super Bowl weekend. Yeah. Sewer. Free society, ladies and gentlemen. Check them out if you hadn't already done so. Thank you so much. Good bro. times, good people. Just chilling, enjoying that sunshine, palm trees, Have a good time. pretty girls, and pineapples. <laughs> I don't know about no fucking pineapples, but pretty women, yes. Pretty women? Yeah. If, if it's fresh, it's I'm like married. sweet pineapple. I'm Tell hey, the look. people where you at, Bo. Hey, the blessing don't do no stress. I'm with my boy Rico Torres over here at some Sewer Beach at 39. Hey, from Europa to goddamn Porter Platter, me and Rico kicking. All so, right. We, we, we where, where we at, Bo? Where we at? 39. We're at 39 with my partner, man. Absolutely. My partner right there. 39th Street. Yeah, In where? the building, on the beach. Coming out of a dark alley. Saturday before the school. <laughs> Famous <laughs> people <laughs> like Bo Ray. No doubt, man. What's up, bro? Okay. All right, we're going to be at the spot tonight, man. Okay, Actually, this was um, my first, really my first Super Bowl weekend here for the whole thing um, under, I guess, uh, really busy times uh, because last year we had the curfews and a lot of places, uh, they talk like they had permission to show the game, but then they nobody really had permission to show the game. And, you know, so I don't know. I stayed home. And I don't know what a lot of people did, but I don't think it was like this week or this year because this year, no more curfews and everybody's open. A lot of places that haven't been getting much business, a lot, you know, various crowds were going to this weekend because, you know, there were so many people, you know, and people were trying, I guess, trying out some new spots, you know, spots like Mile High and... You know, um, man, where else? I don't know, maybe VIP. I don't know, there's a couple of spots that I don't hear of often, but, you know, I know of, but, you know, friends of mine visiting would say, hey, where are you at? I'm at this spot. And I'm like, wow, okay, good for them. I mean, I'm happy, I'm happy for those businesses. So, shout out Chicago, Illinois, the Shy, Shy Town. Shout out to Tony from the Shy. You know, um, various friends visiting and or on the ground here have been making I me mean, take notice that the Chi-Town is coming to the Sioux more and more. So, 
Shout out to the Midwest, Chicago, Detroit, Minnesota, all of them, as well as you guys, wherever you're from. Just do that. Make it proper. So I noticed um, Thursday really, man, was like the start of just when all hell broke loose as far as the, the people, the crowds. I don't mean that in a negative way. It's just uh, I noticed that's when it was really getting on and popping. So, you know, like I normally do with a, you know, couple of uh, kind of close friends of mine here. You know, we touch base with each other when it's time to go out in the evening for a drink or two or dinner or something. And so I end up uh, catching up in Roomba for a minute. And right away, man, it was packed, like chaos. You know, I was like, man, if I order a drink, it, mm, I might be ready to leave by the time it arrives. Um, but um, so that was my first taste of like, just like the crowd really being here. And, you know, some guys was walking around with that nervous twitch. Like they done uh, took something to improve their performance and couldn't find anybody to um, share it with. And, uh, you know, maybe they did things in the wrong order. I don't know. But I guess they figured it out, you know, by Friday or Saturday. Uh, so, anyways, like I said, right away you just notice a lot more people. And, you know, I noticed uh, I noticed some ladies that I haven't seen in a long time out there hanging out, you know, coming in for the Super Bowl weekend lottery, I guess. Uh, I'm not going to get all into the prices of things because that's just not something I like talking about too much anymore. You know, it's kind of every, you know, there are baselines and then everybody has to, has to learn to move correctly and work it out to what's fair to them. So with that said also you know some of my some of my regulars that used to be on the team that i haven't seen or dealt with in months were hitting me up and i think it's just because they didn't want to deal with their extra competition or you know some of the some of the unknown some of the unknown with the extra people on the ground and and such here um, so yeah they were coming out of World War II. So, um, Friday, I think uh, there was some boat parties and Paradise Life events. And shout out to them. You know, a friend or two hit me up, said they had a great time. You know, those events. Saturday was Milton's party, 39th Street on the beach. So, always uh, much love, much respect there. And, you know, good crowd, good times, it was pretty good weather. Uh, I didn't shoot a lot in the streets because, uh, well, for the most part, you guys have already seen, like, a lot of TNA from others. You've seen, you've seen crowds before, so I wasn't really going to go out there, put myself at risk and my reputation at risk, you know, filming from the phone. Um, you know, for just basically what you've seen, but just a whole lot more volume of it. So, but anyways, um, you know, they, um, I say Saturday after the, you know, it was a beach party and everybody seemed to be moving along, you know, good camaraderie, peace. You know, I didn't see, I didn't see a whole lot of any tempers flaring really. You know, everybody was seemed to be cool and, and chill and having a great time. You know, now, you know, would I recommend coming on Super Bowl Sunday weekend, Super Bowl weekend? It's kind of up to the individual, really. Uh, you know, some people, some people like the extra camaraderie. The, you know, they might see some people, some friends, you know, they haven't seen in several trips. They might run into them again on Super Bowl weekend. You know, um, you know, so that so to them, they may like coming Super Bowl weekend. Some people enjoy, you know, enjoy when, you know, the whole overall, the energy 
just a lot higher energy, busier time. Um, you know, the trade-off with that is some things might cost you more. I'm not, you know, it's debatable. You might wait a little longer for drinks and food certain places. You know, things come with the territory. You know, other people might decide, you know, and some have. They came a month or a week or two before Super Bowl and had a great time then. Others will come a week or two, month after Super Bowl, and they prefer then and have a great time. So it's really, you know, really I can't say it was more than I expected or worse than I expected. It was really about what I thought it would be, and I'm just happy that, you know, um, at least so far I haven't heard of really any tragedies or incidents or, you know, anything, anything, anything negative, you know, about um, that happened over the Super Bowl weekend. So just consider all those things. So do that proper. Subscribe if you haven't done so. Rico Toro.